What is up, Mouth Maniacs? I'm here in Oakland, New Jersey at Amato Brothers Pizzeria, and I'm here to take on an in-restaurant food challenge. We're taking on the Tropo, which is a giant cheesesteak and a mound of fries and some other appetizers on it. It's my first food challenge in a while. I'm here doing it with Josh from the Goat Food Challenges. We have 30 minutes to do this. I'm gonna check back in once the food comes out, but uh, it should be interesting. Only three other people have done it including Notorious B.O.B. Shout and Nick Wary, competitive eater. So uh, we're going to give it our best and uh, we'll see you guys when it's out in front of us. Mouth Maniacs, we're back here. The Tropo has come out in front of us. We're going to get started here in a minute or two. Giant two-foot cheesesteak, a bunch of fries, some appetizers, onion rings, mod sticks, chicken fingers, and broccoli bites, I think. So we'll get into it in just a minute. I mean, yeah, I guess we're going to get started here right. right now, guys. So. All right, here we go. Good luck. In three, two, one, go, go. It weighed, we just got done weighing them up. They're, they're just six, just at six pounds. What is up Mouth Maniacs? Thanks for joining me this week on another video. I have a food challenge video for you in a restaurant. As you can see, I'm here taking on the Tropo Challenge. <coughs> you can see at the beginning of this clip I have a little bit of trouble getting started on this giant cheesesteak which I must mention is my first cheesesteak challenge that I've ever had the pleasure of doing. This thing was really tasty. I really enjoyed it. It's a big two foot cheesesteak, tons of fries and appetizers on the side to go with it. But you see here in the video first, I kind of just dive right into the cheesesteak, go ahead first and try to get this thing down as fast as possible before moving on to all the other stuff. I'm with Josh here. We both decided to make the drive to New Jersey to do this. Only about 30 minutes for me, but um, definitely, definitely worth the drive. Doing a new challenge and especially one that I've never had to, with a food that I've never had uh, the chance to do before, so. <laughs> So you can see right here, I'm just kind of still working away at this giant cheesesteak. Tons of meat on it. I think they say about three pounds. It was, it was really delicious. Go head to head with most places in Philly or the suburbs that, that make Philly cheesesteaks. I would have to say my favorite part of the challenge was the cheesesteak. By the time I got to the sides and the fries, they were getting cold, they weren't fresh, so they were definitely a lot harder to eat and I was starting to fill up, which always makes it more difficult to, to kind of speed through at the end. So I definitely slowed down after the cheesesteak. I seem to be pretty full pretty soon during this challenge, which doesn't usually happen for me. Um, I was surprised about how fast I got full, but I had even mentioned to Josh going into it that I really was not feeling my hungriest. So I'm not sure, you know, why that happened for this specific one, but still, still tried to plow through as best I could. Still just working away at this giant mound of fries. These were crinkle cut fries, I'm washing it down with some Diet Coke, you can see there. But nothing, nothing spectacular about these sides. When you get to fries, you are usually pretty full in a challenge. 
and the fries are cold and that was the case here so definitely was super slow in getting the fries down but all around since i've never done a cheesesteak challenge i really enjoyed this and i hope you guys enjoyed the video too so i'm gonna check back in maybe at the end of the video but just wanted to to do a little more voiceover for you guys All right, 10 minutes in, cheese tape's down. Now I gotta work on the fries and eggs. It's a lot of fries. I'm gonna have to get you another one. <laughs> Maybe just. Yeah, he needs another one. He's got 15 minutes left. See? I'm impressed. You got a dessert menu? <laughs> we do. <laughs> All right, guys, it's the voice of Sean the Mouth Eats back here, as promised, towards the end of the video. As you can see, I'm finishing things up right now. Just eating that last mozzarella stick, which was not as good as the first one, but still a mozzarella stick. Just trying to work through the last of these appetizers and fries here. The end is in sight. At this point, I know I'm gonna finish the challenge. So any worries about capacity or time being an issue are gone. I'm feeling pretty good. As I look over at Josh's giant pile of fries, I feel a little bad for him at this point, but I don't want to ruin the end of the video, but a um, little surprise about whether or not he finishes. Finishing off the last bite of the challenge right now. Taking a swig of water. Last bite in my mouth around 18 minutes and 40 seconds. So there's the empty tray for you guys. Happy to get a food challenge victory early in 2021. All right, guys. Looks like I finished right around 19 minutes and 14 seconds. The Tropo. The Potter Brothers. Josh is still going here. He's got about 10 minutes left. Get down these fries and get the challenge win, but... Oh, man. That was good, but a lot of fries. I'm definitely full. But glad to start out 2021 with a restaurant food challenge victory. So, maybe I'll check back in when, uh, when Josh is closer to finishing. Guys, I'm back. Josh just finished up about a minute ago. I think I stopped the timer a little late, but I think he had like five or six seconds to spare. He got the victory, so we're both both starting the year one for one on food challenges. I'll see you guys in the next video, and uh, definitely see you guys in the next restaurant challenge.